walking around here is incredible. And it was so much part of what Philip and David wanted to cultivate here. They were very aware as they developed this campus uh, of fragments, a kind of single house or single concept splayed out across a landscape. In their day, there were no paths. Philip liked the idea that you would just find your way somewhere. If you wanted to go there, you might go this way or you might go that way. Essentially, the glass house began as a weekend retreat, but a kind of uh, publicity move, a kind of PR gesture, because Philip is going to beat Mies van der Rohe, his hero, to the punch by constructing the world's first house or pavilion faced entirely in plate glass. In 1960, Philip met his partner for life, David Whitney, and David was about 30 years younger than Philip, though tragically and oddly, uh, they died in the same year. And so the glass house became their project. As a result, we have some place, we have a landscape, a collection of buildings, a collection of art, but really all of that adds up to a place. Philip was the curator, always identifying what was interesting, taking it, repackaging it, always with a sense of, of irony and I think uh, humility as well. David was the collector and David's way of learning was encyclopedic and the idea was always to master something. In the 1990s, there's time for one more big act. They acquire a piece of land just across the road from Kaluna and it has another big house on it and they chop it, chop it, chop it until they get to the mid 18th century hut, if you will, that is the origins of this house, and they call it Granger. And then what do they do? They paint the exterior black. And so you have to wonder what they were doing. Part of me thinks that they were advancing in age, and this had something to do with death. And I think for me, the experience of being director here, and certainly living on the property and living in David Whitney's house, is an experience of getting to know ghosts. It's, I don't know, almost a forensic process of trying to understand something that I probably never will, and at the same time, an emotional one of, of feeling at times haunted and at times very inspired by who these men were and what they did here.